Hello everybody, it is Wet Eagle One here, and today we are going to review a toy, unlike what we usually do, like gaming and stuff. But yeah, this is a, a Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil 2, made by Palisades. I believe it came out in 2001. Here's a zoom in of his face there. Well, let me zoom in, just putting the camera closer. But yeah, you can't see too well, but there you go. Yes, um, uh, he has a lot of nice weapons, uh, one of them being the shotgun. Probably the one I like the most. He can be posed with it really nicely. Like that. Yeah, I'm looking like that, like shooting liquor or whatever. Oh, okay, it came out, but yeah. Here's the shotgun. It fits in his head really nicely, by the way. Alright, so now we're going to um, show you some of his other weapons. Here, um, wait. This one's cool too. This is his Desert Eagle from Resident Evil 2. It actually is a Desert Eagle. It's that's what it says in Resident Evil 2. So I'm guessing this is a Res Desert Eagle, unless they lied. And um, here's his Mac 10 with a nice barrel on it that doesn't come with uh, Chris's uh, Mac 10. Which uh, let's see if I can actually find that to show you it. Um, Chris got one. Yes, he does here. Yeah. So Chris's Mac 10 does not have a barrel like that, just got a basic cutoff. But yeah. Also yeah, might as well show you. This is um Palisades Chris, Palisades Leon. If you look at them side by side you can kinda of see that Leon's in a crouching position with his knees. So he is a little bit shorter than the rest of the Palisades toys like Wes here and um like Chris there. But um yeah he's still uh, 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 uh well, tall figure, like Claire here, um, he fits with her nicely, she's a little bit of a later series, Chris is from series 3, but yeah, um, here also, uh, show you some other weapons here now, um, we got, mm, oh, here, here's, this is a pistol, right there, nice pistol, and another cool thing about this pistol, is that, where is it now, um, Where is it? Well, um, I don't know if I can find this right now. It's up here somewhere. But, oh, here it is. Alright. Yeah. Um, this is his stock that gives it a 3 on burst in Resident Evil 2 if you ever played the game. And, uh, it just snaps in there right there. And his thumb goes to that little hole. And, what? Oh, I think I might have it on backwards. Yeah, I did. This is the VP and K, I believe. So the Hangins call, I believe. Well, well, um, yeah, it's kind of hard to get in there, but it, it does fit in there. It's kind of awkward to pose, though. I don't really know how to do it. Um, but I believe that is all of the weapons he has. Oh yeah, also this here. This is a nice little stand that he's got. Alright, so I'm going to cut the video here, and then we're going to move into articulation. Alright guys, uh, we're going to start on Leon's articulation now. So, um, his head, uh, it doesn't go quite 360 degrees. It goes to the side pretty far, though. And, uh, his arms, they do go 360 degrees. They only bend out that far, though, disappointing. But still, he makes up for it with other good articulation. He got an elbow bend like that, pretty good. And he can, uh, we got mid arm twists and uh, wrist twists and yeah and he's got a waist twist down here he can't go through the six degrees there either but almost and um, his light articulation kicks out but that far not too far he's got a knee bend like that pretty good knee bend and his uh, ankle swivel and I believe they do go through in the 60 degrees they do go through the trees, and um, yeah, so both from both legs, and yeah, that's the articulation. And um, all right, so now I'm going to do more size comparisons with other figures of different lines. All right, so here we got Leon RPD and ECA. I have three Leons, by the way. Resident Evil 4 Leon and ECA, Resident Evil 2 Leon and ECA, and Palisades Leon. Missing Toy Biz Leon, but I don't think I'll buy that. 
Um, but yeah, he is shorter. These toys, the NECA toys, are always a little bit bigger than most action figures. I'll take a, a standard Power Ranger here, suited up with some other Resident Evil weapons and a nice coat. And um, yeah, they're a little bit more average in size compared to like this. Like, that is too tall, but I still do it anyway. But yeah, these guys are a little bit closer. These guys are 6 inches, and these guys are 7. So yeah, um, here's another comparison for a, another toy line. Um, it's right over here. We got this guy right here. This is the, um, Moby Dick line. Here, I'll tilt the camera up a little so you can see his face. This is Carlos. You know of him from Resident Evil 3. And, um, yeah, they are much taller. Like, much, much taller. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, but, overall, I like the size of the Palisades action figures. They're better than the NECA ones. They also have much better articulation than NECA. Alright guys, um, yeah, so this is Leon again, for the random cutout, um, yeah, he, um, he's a good figure, pick him up, I got him in box for 50 bucks, and if you guys would like to see any other reviews, um, um, from regular toys, such as, like, Claire's, or, like, the Chris that I, I put in the, the video before, um, I think, um, so yeah, leave a like, comment, or subscribe or something so I can tell. I might send this review to other reviewers who, who do reviews on Resident Evil toys and such. And I'll see if they like it. I know I'm a little bit young, but I don't, I don't care. Review is awesome. Alright, so yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys later.